friends today i am taking up energy method to find the deflection uh, the only limitation of this method is that we can find the deflection at only one point at a time so it the this method is same as the method which is area movement that is we can find the uh, deflection at a point only but we we cannot generate y as some function of w e and i and l we cannot do that okay but we can find the deflection at uh, any point by this method now what this method says is that the potential energy the important is potential energy for any system which is loaded by a load will be minimum okay so this is a nature's law what does that mean this means that whenever the snow falls on the branches of tree the tree deflects or the branch of the tree deflects in such a way that the potential energy of that tree or that branch is minimum is it okay clear so what is potential energy of a beam now let us discuss what is the potential energy of a beam so if i have a beam which is loaded with some part of fixed uh, some part of uh, udl some point load and some moment then the potential energy is equal to strain energy strain energy of beam minus integration of w into y dx minus summation of m capital w into y minus summation m into theta n what does that mean it means that the potential energy of the system is equal to strain energy of beam minus integration of w into y into dx minus m m is the number of point load here m is 2 because i have two point load and multiply by deflection at each of the point load minus summation of n into m theta here what is n n is again 2 so this is the potential energy of the system and this potential energy will be minimum for the deflected shape or i can say that the beam will deflect in such a way in this whole part the beam will deflect in such a way that the potential energy will be minimum now castiglia coming to the our main topic which is castiglianos theorem so because the potential energy is minimum what castigliano has said uh, in some books this is the first and this is the second theorem in some other books this is the first and this is the second theorem so it hardly matters but what is the meaning that is more important so what is the first theorem says first theorem says that the partial differentiation of strain energy so this is strain energy with respect to the load applied will give you the deflection at that particular point and this is important for our part okay but what is the second theorem second theorem which is not much of importance to our objective question is that that the partial differentiation of strain energy 
with respect to the deflection will give you the load is it okay both are contradict to each other but both are valid the important part is that the theorem 2 which is del u by del delta is equal to w is applicable beyond hooke's law this is important but theorem 1 is applicable only up to hooke's law okay so <coughs> this is important because in one of the objective question this has been asked so please keep in mind that this theorem can be applied beyond hooke's law but for this theorem which is our objective part we cannot apply this theorem uh, uh, beyond the hooke's law now coming to this strain energy u u is my strain energy now for different load i have different strain energy clear first uh, i will take uh, u e uh, equal to strain energy and then i will differentiate with respect to w now strain energy for different type of loading okay so let us take strain energy for first axial load so u is half uh, it is delta u is half p square dx over ae if for a small element p load is applied dx is it okay so this is u so what is the total u so the total u is integration of half p square dx over ae is it okay i will prove how i get half p square dx over ee when i will be taking strength of material in that chapter uh, when we will be dealing exclusive for strain energy i will prove how we get half p square dx over ee but at this point i will ask you to remember this okay now similarly for bending the strain energy del u is half m square dx over ei and the total strain energy for the system is half m square dx over ei where m is the bending moment clear now third is the shear force strain energy due to shear force so for small it will be half k v square dx over a g is it okay and k is known as form factor k is known as form factor is it okay uh, in my notes you can see this thing see here where k is known as form factor and k depends on only geometry so k is 1.2 for rectangle k is 1 for i section and k is equal to 10 by 9 for circular section and this g is modulus of rigidity and a is the area i will uh, one or two question in which we have to find the deflection due to shear in that i will be using this formula and last for the torsion the strain energy for the small element will be half t square tau sorry tau square dx over jg where j is the polar moment of inertia which is i x x plus i y y and g g is the modulus of rigidity so what is the total strain energy due to torsion it will be u which is the integration of small element del u so how much i get half tau square d dx over gj so these are the four strain energy that can be developed in a structure clear now how to use castigliano's theorem to find the deflection so the method is very simple and this is very powerful method for the objective question 
द ओनली थिंग्स विच यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इज डेट यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट हाउ टू राइट द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट इक्वेशन डेट्स इट अदरवाइज देर इज नो अदर थिंग विच मेक्स दिस मैथड टिपिकल सो वॉट टू डू लेट एस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल दिस इज ए कैंटी लीवर विथ लेंथ एल एंड ए पॉइंट लोड इज एप्लाइड एट एंड फ्री एंड बी एंड द लोड इज एप्लाइड इज डब्ल्यू ना वॉट दिस मैथड आवर फर्स्ट थ्योरम सीज डेट द डिफ्लेक्शन अंडर डब्ल्यू विल बी डेल यू बाय डेल डब्ल्यू क्लियर ना वॉट इज यू यू इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एम स्क्वायर हाफ डी एक्स ओवर ई आई आई एम फाइंडिंग द डिफ्लेक्शन हियर ड्यू टू बेंडिंग ओनली ओके इग्नोरिंग द एक्शियल शेयर एंड टॉर्शन सो दिस इज माई यू नाउ आई हैव टू पार्शियली डिफ्रेंशिएट इट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू डब्ल्यू नाउ इफ यू सी इन दिस होल पार्ट ओनली एम इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ डब्ल्यू इज इट ओके एम इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ डब्ल्यू सो वॉट आई गेट I get if I differentiate it, then integration half two m del m by del w dx over e i. Is it okay? So two and two cancels. So what I get? Del w is equal to integration m del m by del w dx over e i. clear so this is my deflection at the point load where w is applied so what i am requiring i am requiring m which is the bending moment equation second partial differentiation of bending moment with respect to w and then simple dx by ei and the integration for the whole structure this is important that you have to integrate this thing for the whole structure complete structure has to be integrated i will uh, tell you in the coming example how to do it initially if you are beginner then i advise you to write the uh, draw this table and write as it is written in my notes that will make you familiar with the method and then after some practice you can directly write the integration part clear so let us do it with a very basic method which is uh, by writing the uh, table so in this structure i have only one region which is ba now at any distance x what is my bending moment bending moment will be wx now here students i want you that you do not indulge into the sagging or hogging sign convention unnecessarily you will get confused i advise you that while doing castigliano you always take clockwise positive this will help you okay do not indulge in sagging or hogging because uh, by uh, practice you will see that it will hardly make any difference or it will not make any difference clear so in this i will be not taking bending moment as hogging or sagging positive which i should take i am not saying that uh, you are doing wrong by taking hogging or sagging but uh, my work will be done by only taking a bending moment clockwise positive i will tell you how but uh, that will make the uh, time saving that is only thing that if you take hogging or sagging then you will uh, have, uh, invest some time to get positive or negative in clockwise it will be very easy and uh, because there are there is a, another factor del m by del w so whatever plus or minus come it will neutralize that that you will see in the example also so i advise you that you take clockwise positive and it will solve your problem okay do not take hogging or sagging positive it is my kind request to you unnecessarily you will waste some time is it okay so let us take uh, clockwise positive so what is my bending moment equation now the region is b2a my bending moment equation is wx which is my first part m now second part is del m by del w which is here 
so that is integration of this uh, sorry partial differentiation of this so what will be the partial differentiation of this with respect to w it will be x is it okay and the limit will be 0 to l okay now as per castigliano theorem we know that delta is equal to del u by del w so what is my delta now equal to it will be equal to uh, integration 0 to l bending moment which is w into x this is my m and what is this this is my del m by del w dx over ei if you integrate it and put the limit you will get our standard result wl cube over 3 ei okay the second part is how to find the rotation at point B. For this, since there is no moment applied and I need a rotation theta, so I will apply a fictitious moment, let us say it be mu, in clockwise. Okay? So, again the same procedure. So, what will be the bending moment equation at any distance x? It will be w into x plus mu. Now, since I am finding the rotation, I will differentiate the bending moment equation with respect to the moment, which is my mu. So, what is del m by del mu? You just write it here, del m by del mu. So, that will be 1. Is it okay? So, that is 1. And what is my limit? It is limit will be 0 to L. So, what? What I get? Theta B is equal to integration 0 to L bending moment equation Wx plus mu into 1 into dx over Ei. Now, since I have applied mu but actual loading doesn't have mu, so it, this mu is a fictitious. Okay. So, this is fictitious. So, I put it 0 now. So, put mu equal to 0 and integrate it for limit 0 to L, you will get WL square over 2EI. Is it okay? Simple. And since it is the value is positive, it means that it is in the same direction as the fictitious load was applied. So, fictitious load was applied in clockwise direction. So, theta B is also clockwise. Okay. Now, come to the third part. Now, this is a cantilever with a point load at B 10 kN and I am requiring four things delta C, theta C, delta B and theta B. Okay, I will do it one by one. So, let us first find delta C. So, for delta C since there is no load and I have to find the delta, so I will apply a fictitious load W which at the, so, uh, at the end of the question, I will put it 0. But right now, this is not 0. I will put it as W. Okay. Now, I will be having two bending moment equation. First, C to B and th second, B to A. Is it okay? So, see here, the first bending moment equation is for C to B. Is it okay? So, at this point, X what will be my bending moment equation? W into X. So, what is del M by del W? So, partial differentiate it with respect to W. What you will get? X. And the limit? So, this equation is valid from 0 to 1. Is it okay? So, this is my first part. Now, what is the second part? Second part is B to A. Since I uh, already told you that we have to consider the strain energy of a system as a whole. So, we have to differentiate and integrate both the bending moment equation and strain energy for system as a whole. So, the what is the second part? It is B to A. Again, I am taking X. Now, I will I am taking X from C. Is it okay? So, x from c if I take, then what is this length? This length is x minus 1. So, what will be the bending moment equation? It will be 10 into x minus 1. Okay. 
plus w x is it okay now differentiate it it with respect to w so what you will get x and what will be the limit now of x it will be 1 to 2 so what will will be my limit it will be 1 to 2 so what i get delta c is equal to it is integration 0 to 1 which is c to b and second is b to a which is this put w equal to 0 is it okay after this after putting this and finally integrating we can put w equal to 0 so put w equal to 0 clear so here what will happen in this total thing will become 0 here it will be w becomes 0 it will be 10 x minus 1 into x into dx over ei so when you solve you will get 8.33 ei downward because I have applied the load in the downward direction. Is it okay? So I am getting the positive value which means the direction is downward. Clear? Now here it might feel you, you might be feeling that this is a lengthy process. I agree that for small questions we can do it directly by using a standard result but when things get complicated this becomes very important. But for practice you do these questions. So you will get the fundamental and when you will, you are solving typical question, it will be very easy for you to solve. Is it okay? So I advise you that uh, you take simple question and try to solve it. Now in the second part, I want to find theta c. So I will not apply w, but I will apply a clockwise movement which is mu. Okay. So what is my bending moment equation at any distance x? It will be mu clockwise. And what is del m by? Uh, I am sorry, it will be not w, it will be mu. So what is del m by del mu? It is 1. And what will be my limit? 0 to 1. Now come to the second part where I will be measuring x from c. Clear? So what will be my bending moment equation? 10 x minus 1 plus mu. And what is del m by del mu? Again it is 1. But the limit will be 1 to 2. Here friends, you can do one more thing. It depends from student to student how it handle the situation. You can take x from this part also. Okay? So now your limit will be 0 to 1. And your bending moment equation will be 10x plus mu. You will get the same result. It depends from student to student in what the student is comfortable. You can shift your origin from this point to this point also. So what, we, what is the bending moment equation? 10x minus 1 plus mu. Integration of uh, sorry partial differentiation of this with respect to mu will be 1 and limit will be 1 to 2. Now put mu equal to 0. So this whole becomes, it will cancel out. This part will cancel out and you will get only integration of 1 to 2. 10 x minus 1 into 1 dx into ei. Is it okay? So if you solve, you will get 5 over ei. Is it okay? Now in the question, it is given as 10 kilo Newton. Now I cannot partial differentiate with, differentiate it with the 10 kilo Newton. So what I will do? I will put 10 kilo Newton as W and at the end of the question I again put W equal to 10. Is it okay? So please keep in mind that I cannot partial differentiate the bending moment equation with respect to a constant which is 10. So what I will do, I will apply w and then at the end of the question, I will put it as 10. Now for this part, the bending moment is 0. So this is 0, del m by del w is 0 and limit is 0 to 1. So bending, uh, this is my origin. So this is 0 to 1. Okay. So the whole thing is 0. Now I am shifting my origin again to this part. So my bending moment equation will be from 0 to 1 and I am measuring x from this. So what is my bending moment equation? Wx. Now del m by del w will be sorry x. Is it okay? And limit will be 0 to 1. Integrate it wx 
into x dx over ei and put w equal to 10. So when you do it, you will get 10 over 3 ei. Clear? Now see the next problem. The 10 kilo newton load is applied and I have to find the theta b. So for finding theta for rotation, I will apply a mu. Again, for this part, bending moment equation is 0. And del m by del w, uh, I am sorry, this will be mu. So del m by del mu will be 0 and limit will be 0 to 1, which is of no use. <coughs> now, from B to A, if you see, the bending moment equation will be 10x plus mu because I am shifting my origin at this point. So this becomes 0, this becomes 1 and this is my x distance. So 10x plus mu clockwise is positive. Now del m by del mu, I will get it 1 integration 0 to 1. Is it okay? So if you see what I will get 10x plus mu over ei into 1, put mu equal to 0, you will get 5 over ei. Is it okay? It's quite simple. Now take the last question for this video. For a beam, I have to find the deflection under the uh, W load uh, at, a, at a distance of 2 meter from the left hand side. So friends, for this it is important now that you should be very familiar how to find the reaction very quickly. So watch my video where I have uh, teach you how to find the reaction very fast. Is it okay? And how to write the bending moment equation very fast. So this is my beam. This is W load. Now I require bending moment equation for A to B and C to B. So first I will put my origin here and this is my X distance. Clear? Now since this is W, so this will be 4 by 6 W. This I have already told you how to get in my previous videos. So try to watch my video. Uh, the title is how to find reaction. So this is 4 by 6 W. Now what will be the bending moment equation? It will be 4 by 6 W into X. Now I am not uh, drawing the treble. I am doing it uh, manually or in the one line. Okay. So what I will get 4 by 6 W into X is my bending moment equation. Now partial differentiate it with respect to W. So what you will get 4 to 4 by 6 X. Is it okay? This is what del M by del W. Is it okay? And this is M. Clear? dx over ei and my origin is here so the limit will be 0 to 2 is it okay this is for ab part now for cb part i am putting my origin here and writing the bending moment equation from this distance x so what i will get now if you see here this is clockwise so it will be positive now if you see here the bending moment equation will be minus. I tell you why I have not written minus because minus minus will cancel out eventually. So if you take the bending moment equation, what you will get minus 2 by 6 W into X. And what is my del M by del W? It will be minus 2 by 6 into X. So this minus and this minus when comes here, it will cancel out. So you can say that for this part I have taken clockwise positive and for this part I have taken anti-clockwise positive. It hardly make any difference. Okay. Only thing is you should be consistent that for AB you will take clockwise positive and for BC you will take anti-clockwise positive only for Castigliano. Mind it, this is only possible for Castigliano. Clear? So, what I get? This is my bending moment equation and this is my del M by del w okay and my limit will be 0 to 4 okay now using the calculator or manual uh, in whatever manner you are comfortable if you solve what you get delta b is equal to 3.55 w over ei is it okay so friends thank you very much for patiently watching my video
I hope that you have got a little bit of idea of Castiglianus theorem. In the to this point, you might be feeling that these are the questions which can be solved by area moment theorem or by simple standard result. I too agree that these are just question for practice. But on later stage, when we have curved member or some typical loading, then the Castiglianus become important. So do watch my second video. If you like this video, then give us a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestion for me to improve, please write in the comment section. Also, if you feel any doubt or want any explanation, you can WhatsApp me on this given number. Thank you very much. Enjoy civil engineering.